okay uh, this is how i got this device installed on my ktm rc200 i got it installed on uh, the key switch so when i turn on the key the device turns on automatically and if i turn off the key the device turns off the uh, login animation or the splash screen whatever you call it it's amazing the screen quality is really good uh, one good thing about this device is that it has a login feature so you have to enable it manually uh, whenever you turn on the device it will ask for the passcode so thieves cannot steal it or even if they steal it they won't be able to use it until unless the firm firmware is completely replaced let me enter the passcode and it automatically got connected to your phone uh, obviously you have to do the first initial setup and uh, yeah all the application works really fine the screen quality is really good google maps really works well and uh, the apple maps works well too these are the two reasons i import this device for and all other apps are really working fine uh, not all the apps uh, support carplay so keep that in mind uh, not all the apps installed on your phone will be displayed only supported by carplay will be displayed here uh, what else mm, let's go back to the dashboard uh, the device records both front and uh, rear feed uh, simultaneously but uh, it doesn't show you half and half left or right so uh, only one feed will be displayed at once so when when the recording uh, is done uh, i have set up the cycle time as one minute so every one minute it will save a new file and uh, the list shows only one feed at a time so you have to click on the rf button above so when you uh, click this rf button it will show f that is front feed and uh, if you click it again on that it will show you the rear feed i mean the recordings go back and yeah this is all about this device carplay both uh, i don't have android phone as of now so i did not test android but since apple is working really fine i hope the android uh, auto will work also fine let's see the camera installation so i got it installed between these two eyes uh, so it's more secure and uh, kind of undercover so not everybody notices it but the rear camera is installed on the tail which is pretty much visible and uh, catches eye very instantly um, this is how i got it installed so all the wiring is internal nothing is exposed outside uh, except couple of centimeters which is uh, unavoidable and this is how the complete device setup looks on KTM RC200